Hey friends, it's Mike. I'm standing below this cottonwood tree next to the Mississippi River. Wakpatanka, as the Dakota people call it. There's swans, trumpeter swans and geese in the background. And I can just feel peace and calm and life. The vibes are just, uh, they're emanating off this river and I'm grateful. And um, I want to invite you to a rally. <laughs> I want to invite you to a rally for the river this Saturday, January 9th. It's a different rally than we saw yesterday, January 6th at, at the Capitol in D.C. Um, this is a rally for life, and it's a rally for healing. And uh, there's a desperate need, not a desperate, but there's an urgent need for people to show up for the river and for the rights of indigenous people. And uh, you can be a part of that tomorrow. I'm gonna to share the details uh, along with this video. And I'm also gonna be sharing some thoughts about yesterday and how it's not really a surprise and how it's not the only tragedy. The tragedy is every moment, every day that we continue on in the pain and in the unresolved uh, trauma and the dissonance that we experience in our body. That is what we saw yesterday. Uh, we saw a lot of shame, individual shame, operating in people's bodies uh, and, and people who are under-resourced to deal with it. And it's not only those who were at the Capitol uh, waving their banners. It's it's all of us, it, particularly those of us with white bodies. Uh, a history of of pain, of violence, and of exploitation and extraction. Uh, we know it most clearly in the constant comparing, the constant comparison and competing that we fill our lives with. We are constantly measuring. We are constantly living in a story of not enough. And it's ugly, and it's painful, and it's harmful. Uh, and, and that's what we saw yesterday. But we also see it, those of us who lean more progressively, in our judging, in our judging of others, in our scapegoating of others. It's the same thing. It's the mirror image of the same unprocessed pain and trauma. And we have the resources we need. Uh, we have people in our lives that we can listen to. We have people, black poets, we have Anishinaabe water protectors. We have white body people who have moved past the imprisoning individualized shame and have seen that this is really about a collective story that needs to be healed and needs to be dealt with. So we have what we need. Uh, let's show up and do the work. And that's what we get to be about together. Last call, uh, Saturday, uh, January 9th. Show up for the rally for the rivers. Uh, you will find healing here. You will find a way to move through pain and trauma here. You will find a way to move beyond our histories of genocide and exploitation here. Hope to see you uh, make it up to the river. I'll be there next week. And uh, peace and breath in the meantime, my friends.